and welcome back to another weekly vlog so it is tuesday it is january 2nd so happy new year if y'all didn't see my last vlog <laughs> so welcome to 2024 um so i'm sitting here reading the instructions on this peace out pores so i'm about to try it here it is right here i got it from sephora i always see like those little stickers that people use but i wanted the strips because of like let me show y'all y'all yeah, see like those little white spots and stuff like that because i'm wearing more makeup than usual not over the christmas break but before like going to work and stuff i was wearing more makeup than i usually do and now i'm double cleansing and i don't exfoliate as much because i have dry sensitive eczema prone skin um so i'm like in search of a good exfoliator which isn't too damaging to my skin if y'all have any recommendations put them down in the description box below but yeah i'm going to try this um and the instructions say to wash my face first so um let me go wash my face change of plans y'all so my nose is actually really really dry my skin is really really dry um in another season yeah so y'all know i have eczema um the season has changed so when i was in Pittsburgh, it started snowing um so my skin is just dry now i don't know if y'all can tell but see so my skin is um like peeling so i'm not going to do it now i'm just going to put some um hydrating really hydrating cream on my face and then um put vaseline on top of that so i use the um sunday riley ice ceramide cream so i'm gonna do that so now i'm just going to take some good good old vaseline warm it up a little bit I just pat it on my skin. So, <laughs> so we'll try these out probably next week or something when my skin um, isn't as dry. So I'm about to eat some breakfast. I ordered some breakfast from Toastique, which I am loving. So I end up getting their um burrata and tomato toast and i added um smoked salmon on there because i was like in the mood for smoked salmon but now i'm not so i may not eat the smoked salmon but it's still like packed with tomatoes on there i can't wait to eat that and then these pajamas are so cute so these are from mb finale this is the whole set just turn it all down a little bit but this is the whole fit from mb finale cute um i'm gonna link it so these are my pajamas and um getting cute and cozy in the house i ordered their um booster drink it has like orange and carrot oh it has two tops on there let me take one of the tops off I spilled some juice over here and I want to clean up. Can't have going to the new year with a not clean house. <laughs> Do people still believe in that? But it was nice coming back to my home and it was cleaned already because I cleaned before leaving. Like I love coming home to a clean house. This is very good and healthy. I feel like maybe I should do a juice cleanse. I don't know. 
And then I got their um, booster shot. So this is the pineapple, ginger, apple cider, vinegar, turmeric, and sea salt. It says keep refrigerated. But I think I'm going to drink the whole thing right now. I've never been able to drink a whole thing of one of these. I always drink half and I'll be like, I'll drink the rest later. And later never happens. So I'm going to drink it all right now. It's the apple cider vinegar that be. Ugh. What I got hair on my face. It's not too bad. But like you wanted to be a little bit bad, so you know, like you wanted to, you know, like when you eat something tastes strong, but you know it's like you boy, you feel like it's healthy for you. So basically, like a ginger shot or apple cider vinegar shot, stuff like that. Um, but this is actually pretty good for how intense it is. Wow, I feel so healthy. <laughs> so I'm going to eat and I'm looking at my Christmas tree. First of all, 50% of the lights are off. Let me show y'all. The top of the lights are off. The bottom of the lights are off, like. It is time to take the Christmas tree down. Isn't this so cute? <laughs> I wanted to take a second and have a skin appreciation. Like my skin looks so good. Even though I had like that dry flare up, I did what I needed to do with my skincare regimen and it looks so good. So I'm trying to use less products. So yeah. Happy Thursday. So I'm about to get my nails done. I'm getting these taken off and I'm getting a pedicure. So I'm so happy. My nail artist is back in town. <laughs> Can't wait. It is so cute and peaceful in here. I'm finished with my nails, y'all. I end up getting the blush nails again with the orange color. Like, I'm so obsessed with orange. And my new artist, like, she's the best. So I was going to get just, like, brand new nails because you know how sometimes it grows out and it has those little lines in there? And so normally I don't have that, but I went to another um, um, nail stylist because mine was on vacation. And... She was like, oh, I can fix that for you. And she fixed it so there's no like line of demarcation from the last fill to this fill. So she's the best. And I got some boba. Um, I got one I didn't, ha I've never tried. This was black milk tea, but I got a shot of coffee in it because I wanted a little bit of caffeine because I'm getting kind of tired. Um, it's five something, but... I still want to go to the grocery store, so this is my little energy. I'm actually hungry now, too, and I don't have anything, so hopefully this boba fill me up. I got it with the milk tea, and then I got um, some honey boba, and I got a sea salt cream on the top. And he said, before you drink it, make sure you shake it up. Sometimes I shake it up, and sometimes I don't.
Okay, I shook it up the best that I can. I always get regular ice and 50% sweetened. Mm. This is good. So this is the first time I've got it with coffee, like boba with coffee, and this coffee is good. Well, the coffee shot in the tea is good. Mm. Okay. Now we can go to the grocery store. Uh. Y'all, I'm all over the grocery store. So I'm making um, cabbage soup. I've been seeing it all over the TikTok and it looks so good. So I decided to make that at home. And of course, I'm getting my favorite pickles. And I picked up some impossible beef so I can make some tacos. It's Sunday y'all. Um, <laughs> happy Sunday. I am about to, oh, got a feather on me. I'm about to, the sun, it keeps going from sunny to cloudy and I'm about to film a video. Um, I'm going to do the unboxing of this um, T3 style Max Plus flat iron. And so I put this top on, which is cute, something fun. Then I was going to put some lip gloss on because I don't have any foundation on. I just put some mascara on. Yeah, the lighting is drastically changing because of the sun, but that's okay. So I put some mascara on, um, but like no other, oh, I did like put some gel brow gel on just to, make my eyebrows look clean but other than that no makeup um i wanted to put some gloss on i was going to do the lip glow oil but i'm like let me try out this new orange gloss that i got from dior this is the dior attic lip maximizer so it says effect volume in oh wait lip plump plumping gloss maximum hydration volume effect instant and long term so I really got it for the color. Like this color is so cute. It's like a coral. And I think coral looks so cute on me. Like just, I'm so obsessed with orange right now. So I didn't really purchase it for the, the um, lip pumper, but uh, let's see. Hopefully you don't pump too much. So that's what my lips look before. Nothing's on there. Hopefully it doesn't sting. Um, the smell is like you get. It doesn't really have like an a a smell. Um, it's I feel tingling one out of ten. Um, it's kind of like, oh, somebody's texting me. I'll text them back. It's kind of like minty feeling, but literally like one out of a 10. I don't know, is there a build up? But it's just a cute gloss. Okay, so I'm going to film um the video I like this gloss. It's not stinging at all. I think it's cute. Okay, I'm gonna keep that out. <laughs> and it's non-sticky, which I, I love non-sticky glosses. I need to clean out my makeup stuff because I have like lipsticks from, that I haven't worn in like five years. This is Flaherty from MAC. That was a cute color. I think I'm, I'm keeping them just because like, if you lived or not if you lived, but like if you were into makeup during that time, y'all, this doesn't stink at all. Um, but if you were into like, I think this was back when I was in either 
college, yeah, undergrad, MAC glosses, like, you had to have them. And, well, MAC glosses, but I was more so into the lipsticks. And, woo, Ruby Woo. What color? This wasn't Ruby Woo. This was Russian Red. I'm like, see, I'm not getting rid of these. Even though I haven't worn lipstick in, like, forever. I just, they're just too good to get rid of. This is um, taupe. Okay, I just said I was going to do a makeup. This is Rebel. This was cute. I um, probably won't be, I can't see myself wearing this color in the foreseeable future, but I just like hold on to them. Which color was this? This was Real, Real like W-H-I-R-L. This was a good one. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, this was Candy Yum Yum. Oh my gosh, y'all. I think this came out. Some, was this part of the Nicki Minaj collection or something like that? I can't remember, but girl. <laughs> you know what? I would, if I could find a picture with me with this on, I would put, I would like put it here. But this color was so cute. But y'all, this light is making my ass hurt. Like going in and out. It must be cloudy outside. But yeah, oh, this was a good one. This was a Nicki Minaj collab. So this was Nicki's new. Ah, I'm definitely not getting rid of this. <laughs> oh, man, it's like just memories. It's which is so funny. Stone. I don't know why I got this one. I think I seen somebody with this and I got it. But I feel like I literally only wore it one time. So, yeah, Sin. Oh my goodness, girl, I had all these colors. I probably wore most of these like one or once or twice, except Ruby Roo, the Nikki's Nude. Like, um, there was one, I can't find it, but it was like Peach Stock. This was like another nude. This is when uh, a lot of people were trying to get nudes, but it basically wasn't nude for you. It was just like a nude color, but my nude wasn't none of these. Blankety, girl. I was walking around looking like I was eating powdered donuts. <laughs> um, just up there regarding this lip plumper. It doesn't sting at all. It's like a one out of a 10, but it's more of like a peppermint filling instead of that like cinnamon sting filling, if y'all know what I mean. I don't know if my lips got bigger, but I just like the color. Okay, so once I film it, I'm gonna come back. Cause I already showed y'all in the last vlog what this looks like, but once I film it, film it, I'll show y'all some of my hair and stuff. So I just finished filming, and let me bring y'all down here. So and I like this flat iron. So. I just put something in the microwave because I'm hungry. But I like the flat iron. I feel like it did a really great job. I feel like my hair is even straighter than what it was when I first um, straightened when it was washed. Because this hair is two weeks old. That's the last time I washed it, I think, two weeks ago. And it looks pretty good, y'all. So I'm going to film the curling iron one maybe later on today or like tomorrow because right now I'm hungry and I need to go run some errands, but it looks, it looks good. Oh, that's my food. Okay, so I'm just coming out of the Sephora and I don't know if this is happening at the other Sephora's. I know there's an issue with like kids being at the store and stuff messing stuff up but i tried to get the dior um blush and everything dior was behind the counter <laughs> i guess that's the term i don't really know the correct terminology but everything dior was behind like the cashier that's what it was yeah the cashier and the blush that i was looking for the color it said like when i looked online it said in stock but they said it wasn't in stock. And I'm like, okay. I don't know, it was just pretty frustrating. Because I was trying to figure out, you know, where the blushes were and stuff. And they were like, oh, well, we don't have any blushes at all. Then I seen the boxes that looked like the blushes. 
and I was like well can I at least see what color that is so it's like I had to specifically say can I look at that can I look at that and I was like kind of annoying so um, I ended up walking out with nothing at all because it was just too um, like it was just frustrating to look to have to ask and look say like oh can I get that can I get that can I look at that color for every product but I do understand why they're doing it is this because they don't want like the kids messing up the Dior I wonder why they picked that brand out of everything else but specifically Dior everything was behind the counter so I walked away with nothing I'm about to go to uh, Bath and Body Works they have these new cool testers for the wallflowers at Bath and Body Works it's so cool and this scent smells so good I'm into floral scents right now so they have the backyard honeysuckle it smells so good this smells good this is the white tea and sage I'm gonna get this for my bathroom a scent caught in the stores I swear this smells like a hair product and not like in a bad way in a good way it smells good I changed my mind I'm going to get the Palo Santo and sage for my bathroom I like woody smells reminds me of the spa okay I'm in my car now and yeah so I'm about to just go to Ulta and get my beauty blender and stuff so unfortunately Ulta does not carry from what I've seen the coral color of the Dior so I'm just going to order that online but yeah that kind of like messed up the Sephora experience like I, I've, I've been seeing it all over TikTok like people talking about it how like the makeup things were all messed up because like I guess young kids are coming in there and messing stuff up and so because of that, it resulted to them having stuff behind the counter, which is like, it <laughs> sounds like the pharmacy, but like, I wonder why, like what made them select certain things? Like Dior was behind the counter. I wonder like what other products, so I've seen some other stuff that was not behind the counter. So maybe because, you know, it's Dior, but it kind of, um, it didn't make like a good shopping experience and I think it's because of how I don't, I don't know like when I wanted to even look at the products it, it seemed like a hassle to even show me the products I guess that's what made it bad like not a good experience okay it's one thing that I can look at it and browse it by myself okay I get it you got to have it behind the counter because stuff was getting destroyed so I go to look at it behind the counter but somebody's like staring at me they have to pick stuff up one by one and I'm just like oh my gosh so anyways I'm going to go in the grocery store first to get some seasoning for my the um the cabbage soup that I wanted to make and then because it's the adobo seasoning and I had I ordered some but it didn't like I said it was delivered but it wasn't so I'm about to just get it from a grocery store and then make the soup later on I hope it turns out good I really do love cabbage I never had cabbage soup and I feel like this soup you can extend that over you know two or three days and um I like that because that means I don't have to cook for two or three days so like yeah let me know how y'all experiences at Sephora so far like are y'all impacted like I didn't I didn't realize I was gonna be impacted by this I just seen the girlies on TikTok talking about it I didn't know I was gonna be talking about it oh my gosh hey y'all I'm back home so it is Sunday evening I'm feeling pretty good I just got done washing um some of my makeup brushes and I'm about to air drown because, not air drown, I typically usually just let them air dry, but tomorrow I plan to do my makeup and I want to make sure they are dry, you know, all the way. So I'm using this um, tool that I got from Amazon. I don't know if I would like totally say this is something you need, but it's convenient if I wash my makeup brushes and like they won't be all the way dry by tomorrow morning. So basically, 
It's this tool that spins the brush really, really fast and it comes with this water pot. So you push the power button on and it literally just swirls, it swirls it around, but you gotta hold it like, like if you hold it too low, it'll stop. If you hold it too high, like it, it may stop or hit the top of the bottle. So you gotta, or it'll spin slower. So you have to hold it directly in the middle. And yeah, it definitely allows the brush to spin fat, um, to dry faster than ear drying. So that's what I'm doing. But yeah, today was a pretty slow weekend. It was it was like gloomy outside, cloudy. So it was a more chill, relaxed weekend, which is nice. It's probably what I needed um, since all of the holiday. Tomorrow is Monday. I'm going to campus. Uh, I'm not lecturing tomorrow. My first lecture for the semester is Friday. So tomorrow is the first day of classes. And then Friday is the first day of my specific class that I'm a course coordinator for. So, yeah, my Canvas Canvas class is all set. Students have access to it, so let's get this semester started. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and dry every brush one by one. It should be somewhat dry now. Yeah. The only thing is, I feel like it does re go back to its shape, but I'm just scared if I continue to use this machine like it'll spin it out of shape you know so i don't use it often but yeah so i'm going to go, go ahead and close off this vlog i hope y'all enjoyed this vlog um if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of me please subscribe and if you're already subscribed thanks girl and i'll see you in the next one peace and love oh.